Yeah. See, I find those photographs interesting. Yeah, they, so do I. Yeah. Aren't they? Do you ever use the camera that I got you? Oh, yeah, I use it all the time. I was taking pictures in our drama class. Oh, yeah? It's fun. It's really neat, yeah. Now you sound like you just talk the, the mouse of the Tom and Jerry cartoon. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I figured you should out. talk. You have a whiny voice. You sound, you sound exactly like the mouse. Oh, it's really thanks. Nice. I know. I'm a whiner. You know, I'm always sort of <laughs> What are you Hi. doing here? Hi. How, how long have you been here? Really, we were just talking oh, about you. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> what, what, are we, what are you, you're walking around behind us? Or not? <laughs> how are you? I, okay, good. That's so funny. We're talking about, you know, we, we, we we're all going to go to that Shakespeare in the Park thing this Oh, week, yeah, so right. We, we, we yeah, I want to do that. Oh, yeah. oh, this is my friend, <laughs> Mary Wilkie, Isaac Davis, and Tracy. Well, Hi. Hello. How Hi. How are you? Nice, nice to meet you. Me too. You too. This hello. Is, <laughs> we were downstairs at the Castelli Gallery. We saw the photography exhibition. Incredible. Oh, Absolutely terrific. incredible. Really? You like that? The, the photographs downstairs yes, at the Castelli Gallery? Great. Absolutely great. Mm -hmm. Did right. you? No, I, I really felt it was very derivative. To me, it looked like it was straight out of Diane Arbus, but it had none of the wit. Really? Well, you know, well, we didn't like them as much as the, the plexiglass sculpture, oh, that yeah. I will admit. I mean, the, really? You like the plexiglass, huh? You didn't like the plexiglass sculpture either? Interesting. No, it, I don't know. The, the, it was a hell of a lot better than that, that steel cube. Did you see the steel oh, yeah, cube? That was, that was so <laughs> Now, that was brilliant to me. Absolutely brilliant. The steel cube was yes. brilliant? It, to me, it was, it was very textural. You know what I mean? It was perfectly integrated, and it had a, a, a marvelous kind of negative capability. The rest of the stuff downstairs was bullshit. Do you want to go see the solar woods? Sure, that'd be fun. You want to see this solar? Hey, he's having an opening at the Modern soon. I was going to uh, do a piece on solar for Insight. Do, do you know that magazine? It's a, you yes. know, it's one of those little magazines. I mean, there's such schmucks up there, really mired in 30s radicalism. What do you do, Tracy? I go to high school. Oh, really? Really? Sure. Somewhere in the back on this one. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think Lewitt's overrated. In fact, I think he may be a Isn't candidate for the old Academy. <laughs> Oh, Mary right. and I have invented the uh, Academy of the Overrated that's for uh, <laughs> such, such notables as, uh, as the Gustav Mahler and Isaac Dennison and, uh, and Carl Scott Jung, Fitzgerald Lenny and, Bruce, uh, can't forget Lenny, Lenny Bruce, Bruce now, can we? And, uh, how about Norman Mailer? I think those people are all terrific, everyone that you mentioned. Was that guy you had, you had a great No, no, I didn't have it. It was yours. It was Heinrich Bull. Oh, God. It? Overrated? We don't want to leave off, off Heinrich. Gee, what about Mozart? You guys don't want to leave out Mozart. I mean, why are you trashing people? Oh, well, how about Vincent van Gogh or Ingmar Bergman? Bergman? Bergman's the only genius in cinema today, He's I think. A big I just fan. Oh, God, you're so the opposite. I mean, you write that absolutely fabulous television show. It's brilliantly funny, and his view is so Scandinavian. It's bleak. My God, I mean, all that Kierkegaard, right? Real adolescent, you know, fashionable pessimism. I mean, the silence. God's silence. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I loved it when I was at Radcliffe, but I mean, all right, you outgrow it. You absolutely outgrow it. Uh, I think I have to I go with him uh, anymore. No, 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 no. Don't you see, don't you guys see that it is the dignifying of one's own psychological and sexual hang-ups by attaching them to these grandiose philosophical issues. That's what it is. <clears throat> Here we are. Uh, listen, I, it was very nice meeting you. It was, it was a pleasure and a Sincere sensation, but we have to go because oh. we got to get some. Sh we got to do some shopping. Hey, I forgot listen. about it. Hey, listen, I don't even want to have this conversation. I mean, really. I mean, I'm just from Philadelphia. You know, I mean, we believe in God, so uh, okay. What the hell does that mean? What is it? What what what, what, is, what, is, what, is, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Well, I'm from uh, Philadelphia, I believe in God. What, 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 <laughs> does this make any sense to you at all? What a creep! Could you believe her? I mean, she was oh, really real nervous. nervous. She was overbearing. She was. You know, terrible. She was all cerebral. You know, it was all, what the hell is a little Radcliffe Tootsie come off raiding Scott Fitzgerald and Gustav Mahler and then I understand Heinrich why Bull. you're getting so mad. I'm mad because I don't like that pseudo intellectual garbage that she put there. Van Gogh. Did you hear that? She said Van Gogh. I couldn't, like an Arab, she spoke. I couldn't, and if she had made one more remark about Bergman, I would have knocked her other contact lines out. What is she as mistress? That will never cease to mystify me. I mean, he's got a wonderful wife, and he prefers to, to diddle this little yo-yo that, that, you know, and, but he was always a sucker for the, those kind of women, you know, the kind of, that would involve him in discussions of existential reality, you know? They'd probably sit around on the floor with wine and cheese and mispronounce allegorical and didacticism. Well, I get the feeling that Yale really likes it. 
Well, I, I'm old-fashioned. I don't believe in extramarital relationships. I think people should mate for life like pigeons or Catholics. I don't know. Maybe people weren't meant to have one deep relationship. Maybe we're meant to have, you know, a series of relationships with different links. I mean, that kind of thing's gone out of date. Hey, don't tell me what's gone out of date, okay? You're 17 years old. You were brought up on drugs and television, the pill. I, I, I was World War II. I was in the trenches. Well, you were eight in World War II. That's right. I was never in the trenches. I was caught right in the middle. It was a very tough position. Get the groceries, will you?